Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R730 server. Specifically in this video, we are going to cover the different chassis types. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R730 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so let's get rolling. Uh, we're going to cover the uh, different chassis types in this part of the series. Um, there are three different types of chassis. You can see over here, this is the eight bay small form factor. This is going to be your eight bay large form factor. And this is going to be your 16 bay small form factor. If you're actually looking for more drives, uh, there's what is called the uh, R730XD, uh, which we're going to do a whole series on that coming up. Uh, but that has uh, 24 bays on the small form factor um, and that might be a great option in 12 bays on the large form factor and also has two in the rear uh, if you have the kit for that so uh, just a couple of different things to note um, now let's uh, talk about the uh, different uh, motherboards inside there's only one which is nice because with the um, R630 there are actually different motherboards with uh, different PCIe versions some have two PCIe some have three uh, with the R730 all of them have seven PCIe's all of them have four high profile and three low profile, which is nice because it gives you some options depending on the brackets you get for the different cards that you're putting in. And those are the real differences. Those are the different chassis. So I do want to uh, zoom in. We're going to show you the fronts and we're going to show you the backs of them. Uh, we're going to also open it up just to give you a nice view of the inside. Uh, but realistically, all of them uh, are the exact same uh, outside of the storage and front. Let's get going. All right, so we're going to show you the inside now. I get, um, you know, this is about the different chassis, but I also thought just uh, going over the whole chassis would be a good idea. So we're just going to pop the top open. So right here, you're going to have your air baffle. Uh, the nice thing about your air baffle, it does have some uh, information on top of it. CPU 1, CPU 2, all the dim slots, which we talk about in some of our other videos in this series. So we're going to pop this open here, um, and we're going to kind of just identify some of the uh, the general parts for everybody. So uh, CPU 1, CPU 2, there's 24 DIMM slots. These are all your memory modules here. Uh, this is going to be uh, all of your uh, your fans. Uh, this is going to be your your backplane cable here, which is going to come all the way over here to your RAID cable. Here's going to be uh, riser 1, riser 2, riser 3 for all your PCIe slots. Uh, here's your NIC card. Uh, there's dual power supplies under here. Um, in general, that's kind of the, uh, the heart of the system. Obviously, the motherboard down here, the green PCIe board that you see. So that's the heart of all the different parts. Uh, so now what I would like to do is we're gonna actually stack all three of them on top of each other. We're gonna show you the different fronts uh, so that you can actually compare the true differences here, which are the, uh, the storage options. All right, so here really are the true differences for the uh, R730 chassis. You're gonna have uh, your eight bay large form factor, your eight bay small form factor, and your 16 bay small form factor. Uh, really um, everything else about it is uh, the same. That's the only true difference, but I uh, wanted to get a nice shot so you can really kind of see the, uh, the different uh, uh, storage options that you can get with the R730. All right, so I wanted to show you the back as well. Um, so you'll see all the, uh, the different PCIe brackets for stuff that can be installed and the stuff that is currently installed. You have your iDrag port, your uh, VGA port, you see all of our NIC ports, our power supplies, dual power supplies. In this case, we have 1100 watts in, which will, you know, in our uh, other video, uh, we'll show you the different power supply options as a whole. But uh, this is the back. It's the same for all the different 730 options. And as a whole, really, like we said, the only difference is the front storage option. So uh, thanks for stopping by. If you're looking to custom build, an R730, uh, do us a favor and uh, email us at sales at cloudninja.com. We'd love the opportunity to quote you. And if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe.